Good morning, everybody. Um, so, good news and bad news. The bad news first is we were going to go to Concrete City today, but we found out that they now have no trespassing signs up there. So, I don't feel like getting arrested, and Kurt doesn't feel like getting arrested. So, we're not going there. However, I made some uh, quick last minute decisions and um, some uh, ideas thrown to Kurt and he's willing to roll with it. So this is what we're gonna do. So first things first, we are going to head to, um, there's iron furnaces in Scranton that's abandoned. We're gonna check that out. So we are keeping with the abandoned theme. And then from there, we're gonna head to Nayog Park and there's a waterfall in the park. And then the last thing we're gonna do is um, Archibald Pothole State Park, as long as we got time. But I think we will. Um, the days are getting longer. There's a little bit more time to do things. So we'll see you on the road.
Well, I, I I wish the state would just take it over and just turn it into a historical site, kind of like what they did with the bunkers. Yeah. They could do that. Yeah. Then they could be a tourist. Yeah. Yep. Really, dude? <laughs> Got baggies? That's a long time it's been on the National Register too. 1848. That's impressive. <laughs> Well, this is, I think it's really, really old, too. Oh, well, you can see down in. Um, can I go back to the car and what? Get the handle, huh? the strap. Let me give them to you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm that, not getting that close because I don't have, I'm going to hold on for a minute, so I can yep. Fits pretty decent. Is then, that for the lights? Yeah. Yeah, we won't be needing lights today. Get a pretty cool view from here too. As you can see, we are actually like in Scranton itself. Speaking of the city of Scranton, it's a very beautiful day, but it's. Did you say it's not a very beautiful day? What's up? It's cool being able to see down inside. Obviously, I'm on top of the furnaces right now. Down there's the bottom. ways down there for sure it's exactly what this is the old train station because right down here is benches and the tracks are right there that is that is definitely what that is I see why uh they have it yeah. closed off. I, I, I There's said, a couple planks missing. I said, uh, <laughs> not be a happy dog down there. No. Mateo would be like, no, oh, daddy, please. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to load you up on a rail car, Mateo. You, look at that nose go. <laughs> What's he sniffing? Is it What's up nice, there, buddy? Is it a nice day out, buddy? Is it a nice day out? And we're walking on pavement. It's like not, 60 degrees. The nice. sun just came out. Now I can't see. 
<laughs> you are just <laughs> transitions, no transitions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let's down that way. We'll take a walk in the plank. Down I'm gonna stop them so you're out of the beat. Might just be uh <laughs> no ice. <laughs> no ice. It's sunny and 60 degrees. Quit trying to wrap up on the mine. Just gives you a different view. Be able to see the rapids and stuff. I missed this on the way up. A piece of rail line to show, like, because this was for smelting iron. It's a piece of rail. Down here's the signage for this place. A quick stop at each one so you can just pause it and look. Wow. Wow. This bench gives you one hell of a view of the creek. Mm -hmm. we sit in the That's the biggest difference between what Mike's doing here with an action camera. Me is you gotta, you gotta be paying attention to him. He's now too high, and then you get too low. This is the most civilized place I think we've ever visited. I'm not sure I'm enjoying that part of it. <laughs> yeah, we're using some more trees and, 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 and woods. And less chanting. Ooh, 
Ooh, this would be a good spot to get a long exposure to. Oh, yes. Can tell we're in the city. <laughs> This is definitely not the normal vlog that everybody's used to, you know, usually being out in the forest or the woods, you know, middle of the city, for now. First two destinations are in the city. The last one is up north a little bit above the city, but not by much. what we got here These are huge. Ah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. How's our people down there? I don't know. I think they're supposed to. Probably not. The dog mm. Mateo's just gonna go through the fence. Yeah, he could probably he could probably fit through the fence. Uh, Mateo. Mateo, no. No trespassing dude. It's, it's locked for a reason there, little buddy. <laughs> wow. Tell the cut marks. Yeah, These right here, and they're all over the place. You know all the way up. dynamite marks, like we've seen at the rail trails. That door does not look old. Huh? <laughs> I said that door does not look old. Yeah. Neither does that electrical. That's not good. That's all over the place. Right here too. They're pretty big too. All over all the walls too. There's some right over here that's close to ground level. I'm sure it's not for iron spikes. I wonder if that's yeah, what it that's. looks like the drills like we normally see when we're on the rails trails at uh, Yeah. Because because like here's some too. It looks like that's where the drill stopped and then they dropped the dynamite to get the rock loose. Yep. Wow. 
Look at the brickwork on the ceiling. I mean, the ceiling's probably 50, 60 feet away, but it's there. In the tail, we can hang it from that pole up there. We'll shimmy up that one. <laughs> There's footprints in there. Oh, I'm sure. <clears throat> this one doesn't look, this one's not as tall. Well, th this one should be the first one of where the the lower ones were, because that first one was the, the the real big one. So I'm pretty sure this this right here is supposed to be a cauldron from where they melted the metals down. Can you see my screen? Yeah. It's... <laughs> I'm looking up. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, as you go, you get smaller. I think that's kind of like how you the system. You start off bigger and you slowly get smaller and you get as it dissipates. So, is it Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. There you go. Cauldron's not in this one. Now that's probably a drop off there, isn't it? Um, 20 feet. It's steep. It's steep just coming up this hill right here. That's what I'm saying, it's steep. That's why I was looking at it. I'm going to try to look over, but she can't clear the wall. <laughs> it's a cool shot going down through, though. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little bit on the steep side. Yeah. Guess who didn't put their hikers on today? Well, for this part. Huh? Where are you? No, I have them. <laughs> Probably. Well. Like they have in movies where they can like put the heels and like spikes come out. That'd be cool. That would be badass. <laughs> he made it! 
survived. Oh, it's more the mud patches. I I didn't want to make the express route down. <laughs> well, I said you want to go belly first. <laughs> That'd be a badass sled ride, Bill. Yeah? Going back up and down. Well, what you do is you get somebody big and strong like me to just pull you back up the hill. Up like a pulley system? Yeah. Yeah, just pulley system the people up. I would do it for the kids. Old piece of harness, maybe? Looks like it. Nayog Park. Nayog Park's not far. Maybe 10 minutes tops. No, it's only for going to Ricketts Glen. No, it wasn't Ricketts Glen, it was Diggs Glen. It was where the drone eventually drowned. But it was the first drone. No, that wasn't Jacobs Falls. Yeah, it was. Sullivan Falls. So, whatever. The Sullivan Falls is where you, you drown the drone. It's also where you said it was, you know, 10 minutes away. 35. 10.35. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we got there, you, you, you about wanted to kill me. <laughs> They're like, that was way more than 10 minutes. I my sunglasses at the last one. Yeah. Don't buy golf gas. They're fucking Saudi Arabia. Oh, no, it's Zipco. I don't know where golf is from. Zipco is anti-American.
right. Made to Nayog Park. Let's see what we got going on over here. Where do you see a waterfall? Right there. Right by the tunnel. Oh, yeah. Please, go for our tunnel to find them. That's a waterfall, but that's not the waterfall we're looking for. I don't see it on the map either. That waterfall? Waterfall in general. Oh. Gotta laugh. There's a sign right back there that says stay on the trail. It's a $300 fine if you go off the trail. What are they doing going down through the woods? <laughs> you see someone coming out here in the forest? <laughs> hey, you never know. I hear a waterfall. Don't tell me we're there already. <laughs> I, I see it. I see a nice little area over here. I, if we're there already, <laughs> we were about to be short. I. It sounds like this might be it already. If it is, I, I can't believe that. Down there's Nail Falls already. Gotta go down this trail and then we'll eventually make it down. I said switching to hiking shoes was a great idea. You were what? Um. Why? Great. Oh yeah, there is. Now this is uh not good. We got for a railing. 
and waterproof shoes. Right. Yeah, I'm good. Just taking it slow. At least you get a railing to hold on to. <laughs> no. If I would have had regular shoes on, I would have just had a wet foot. Huh. There you go. There he is. And uh, let people go by now. Continue. That's a high one. Wow. This is a uh, rough trail, that's for sure. Check this one out, but I've never gotten a chance to until now, of course. This is very cool. All right, so that was Nayok Park. Um, we got to see the waterfall, and that was about really it. And there was also a second overlook we went to that actually overlooked another waterfall. So that was a little added bonus that I was not expecting to see. Um, next off is Archibald Pothole State Park. We will see you there.
All right, try this again with audio now. Archibald State Park. Road's closed, but I can tell it's normally closed by the amount of wear and tear around the poles. Must be typical for that to be closed? I don't know. They don't leave very much room for people to park. That's kind of odd because this here looks brand new. stream from the culvert. Nope, all three locations are new for me. Visit and learn about how they empty the enclosed pothole. Without the earth had collapsed, miners working a steam of coal 45 feet underground had unknowingly uncorked an 8 to 1,000 tons of smooth round and oval stone that filled this pothole. Yeah, you can tell the parking lot's not even used. <laughs> no. It's all covered as well. Yeah. They would try to. Yeah. 
there's there's snow at the bottom. Are you serious? Yep. The perks of being tall. <laughs> that too. Oh, from this side. Is the snow visible from this side? No. Now it goes down there pretty far, that's for sure. No. They did not say how deep it was. I can tell this park doesn't get used much. Yeah, because I think this this park total is only like 70 acres. It's not big. Yeah. Priya, yeah. Up, yeah. The, up the steps. Uh, there you go. Go ahead. Huh? Doesn't get any sun. Ooh, that goes down pretty far too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> How deep do you think that is? I don't know, but it didn't make a really cool jacuzzi. Mateo, don't you dare go underneath that railing. <laughs> I don't know, but if I didn't have this strap on this camera right now, I should not be doing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a reason that I'm holding it. <laughs> oh, chicken shits. Just like, it's just so cool because it looks like steps that yeah. are probably about eight feet tall. <laughs> it might be more than eight feet. Mm. Yeah, from this height, it's kind of hard to tell. Mateo, don't you dare go underneath the rail. Listen, little dog. Bring So we found a random little trail. I guess we're gonna take it for a few minutes, see what it, see where it goes. We're still in Archibald Pothole State Park. Pennsylvania Trail, nothing but rocks. We are up pretty high in elevation, too. Probably is.
Just really just loop back around. <laughs> huh. That's what I mean. I think I think one day we should come up here and check out some of these trails. This has blazes on it. Pink blazes. Hmm. Does the trail go that way? Well, yeah, it goes that way, it goes down that way and that way, and then it leads to a little like, wave or something down there. Hmm. Looks like the trail goes that way. Oh, yeah. Well, that goes to like a parking lot. Mm hmm. You probably park there and get up here without being on the road. Possibly. Since they probably never opened this. No, I'm thinking people probably always have to park along the road like we just did. Right. Alrighty. Come on, Priya, we're making our way home. Mateo's like, we're going home? That's your outro for now. I'm done. <laughs> I usually don't record after I get off. Really? It's the adventure. I don't, I don't record. I mean, the stuff I did with the S24 at home, that's probably a separate test video. If it even gets posted. Yeah, you use like all the devices today, except the Action 4. too. You get a half circle. Yeah, he said his name, but I don't remember what it was now. Well, I'll just list him in, in my phone as Atlas.
got 1165 photos from yesterday to post yet. Oh. I can't believe I got rid of those fucking treats. The pumpkin treats are in there. Oh, fuck did I do that? I'm hoping that one day I'll just like freeze in the fucking bag and still there. When you get back to the car, I'll help you look. Exactly. I have a little bit of water in my car. A little bit. Couple gallons. <laughs> Ooh, how did I not see that? I'm getting some pictures of that. The what? I don't know. I'm gonna guess probably not. Well, I was very shocked when I plugged into the Mac and it said Samsung. I'm like, what? And I kind of wonder if it wasn't faster cable. possible. Of course, now that I use it all day, watch it. <laughs> yeah, got 20 clips and that's so like, nope. I got this other side. That's the downside with having everything back and then trying to use the Samsung. The, the, the converting everything into this camera.